my gosh. It's so cute. Wow, look at that guy. So Sarah, can you tell me a couple of things about how you, what you did to get this animal ready yeah. to come back? So he first went to Rain Dancer, <laughs> which was the rehab center down in Olympia. Mm -hmm. And they were... Let me cover him up for a second while I talk. Okay. Um, as long as you cover them up, then they're all good. Yeah. So he um, he went there after he was tangled in the net, and he had some problems with he had some minor wounds. Luckily, none of his feathers were too broken or anything, because uh -huh. that could extend his rehab time. Yeah. But he wasn't fully extending his wings, so there was some like minor soft tissue damage when he first got there. He definitely couldn't fly as well as an owl needs to fly. Right. So he was there um, until he was getting a little stronger. His wings were extending normally. And then um, Stephanie at Rain Dancer sends a lot of birds up to us because we have a larger flight cage. Right. So we have flight cages that are big enough to house multiple eagles and things like that. Ooh. So once he came up to us, so he had a bigger space so he could really practice flying more. So we just want to make sure they're back to tip top health and can fly. As they need to before we where, where are you located? Bainbridge Island. Oh, that's yes. yes. Who, like if we ever ran into something like this at home and that, who would we contact? Who would be the first person we'd contact? To, like, uh, to get assistance if we found, let's say... Gotcha. Yeah, you could try to call. The problem is that there's a, not very much staffing, so sometimes us and Stephanie too isn't able to send people out to assist in the rescue. Mm -hmm. And then... I take it the, the owl was removed here yeah. and you brought it down. Right back here, yeah. yeah, yeah. We can even take out take a, a walk up to where we did this yeah. and we can put yeah. it right back where it was. So right a lot of the time we do remember rely on members of the public to bring us the animal. Obviously if it's like a bird of prey or something larger, things can get more difficult and we're available to offer assistance or sometimes fish and wildlife officers are too. But, yes. How often does this happen? Birds getting in nets? Well, we've declared this a uh, hazard site, so we're canceling baseball from Bellarmine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this is, we've got enough of this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>